Hello team, it's Rich here from Serious Cricket. And today we're gonna to go through what's in my kit bag. But first up, you can see I've got an MRF bat. Or have I? And we'll find out later. <laughs> a tease already. Okay, so straight away in the bag. So I've got myself a chase holder. Got all my stuff stuff stuck in there. First up, we've got the old painter shoes. Now painter were very kind and they gave uh, myself and a few other people some shoes to use um, as a do a bit of a review on. So these ones here are the XPF 22s, made in conjunction with Rashid Khan. They've had a season's worth of use and as you can tell, they look like they have too, don't they? They look well used. These were super comfortable. Uh, because Rashid, by the way, is a leg eat, so a spinner batter, I found these really suited for, for, my, for my game. Nowhere near as good as him, but you know, I plodded around and did my stuff in those. So I really like those, very, very comfortable. Um, and they've also been really quite durable too, haven't they? Look like just worth with a season's worth of use. Next up in the kit bag is the helmet. Probably predates everybody that's watching this video. 2003, probably even before that time. So Albion's Club Mark II helmet. Let me show you the, the dirty details on the inside. Fantastic, you can even see the side of my big head which is no good, is it? You didn't really want to know that, but anyway. So they do not conform, or this particular helmet doesn't conform to regulations um, because you can get a ball between the grill and, and the, uh, the peak. Um, plus also it's a manoeuvrable helmet. So just all of those regulations have changed now. So anyway, but I'm still using this because it fits and it's comfy. Uh, but if I happen to go into a shop and want to get a new one, I'd, it would have to change. Uh, and it would have to change quite, quite markedly. Uh, now, I have just purchased a pair of gloves. Uh, so it's the Chase R7s. I'll have to come and show you because the R7 is quite light in its sort of coloration. In this particular glove, a couple of interesting features. Quite a block format, but also there's a little bit of a sausage element to it. Every section is fibre inserted and reinforced. Um, and we've got side panel protection for the, the top hand for me, being a lefty and then also the bottom hand by the thumb. And I'll grab show you that in a second very quickly. So they're a very comfortable pair of gloves. Um, and, and the reason I've purchased that, or this particular pair, is I've also got myself another pair. So one I've had for a little while, and I've started using, and as you see, R7, they're exactly the same. I have two pairs of gloves for a very simple reason. Not because I'm super fantastic, but because when I play on a Saturday, sometimes you bat a long time, which hasn't happened for a long time, but it does happen. I need a second pair for the second half of the game. Also, if you play Saturday, Sunday, and you have a good innings on a Saturday, you probably want to start with a fresh pair on Sunday. The other one might not have dried out. And prac one to practice in. So most clubs will practice on a Thursday night or a Tuesday night, both nights if you're you know, quite a big, strong club then you're gonna need a little bit more equipment and that's why I've got two pairs of gloves. Cool, next in my bag, you can see a pair of pads, Chase 175s. Excuse the mess, ladies and gents, it's my back pad. Get down there on the sweeping, like, you know, like a little broom. Um, so these have got great levels of protection in, but they are showing horrendous signs of wear, as you can see. But very lo lots of protection, lots of padding on the sort of the shin section here, really like that. I quite, they were canes in the old days. They've just been battered and bruised just through use. Um, I really like the little attention to detail that they had put into these. Um, sort of extra comfort on the straps, uh, little tags on the end. Both calf and ankle straps are sort of double thickness. And again, I like that because it was very, very comfortable. So really, they've been a really comfortable set of pads for me and very well protected. Provide me with lots of protection. Thigh pads! Bosh, you'll notice no inner thigh pad, only an outer. I take bruises. I'm not fussy. I miss a few as well, so then I do get a few bruises. Lots of, lots of good, strong protection in this. I've used a single thigh pad for a long time. I'd be very happy to try and have tried the dual, the dual thigh pads inside and outer. Um, it's just that I've had this and I haven't really felt a need to change, so I'm sure you'll understand that one, Tim. Okay, last in the bag, but not least, is the box. Protects everything we should be protecting, he says. Um, 
does a good job, fits quite comfy, you know, it's in the bag, isn't it? Everybody needs one. Right, last thing now to talk about is the bag. Ha ha, but we've obviously got the bat, don't forget that. We've got the bag to talk about. It is a hold all, it's from Chase. It's a big one section bag. So you get everything in there. Uh, we've got a little bat section here and you've got an extra little padded section on the outside or a little pocket, really for a few odds and sods. Maybe your towel, my towel goes in there sometimes. The only thing I can't do is I can't put my, my clothes in this bag. I have to take two bags with me, one for clothes, one for my kit. Okay, last but not least. I did say, was it an MRF? Well, if you've waited on long enough, you'll see it is. How exciting. Verat Coley and I, we go to bat together. Well, he, hopefully he should probably get it before me, really, shouldn't he? Um, anyway, so this is the MRF Legend. It's the VK18 3.0. They do a 2.0 and they do a 1.0 in the Legend series, or at least they did a couple of years ago when I purchased this bat. I purchased it for 100 quid. It's the lower end range, uh, but the reason I purchased it is very simple. I did lots of tapping of bats in the shop and this particular one came out really well and I really liked it. And I also like the shape and the profile of this bat, which for me is really important. Um, and again, a batters, we all go through grips, don't we? Uh, and I'm currently using the Vertex Grip by Kookaburra. I quite like this, it, it's all right, it does a good job. Um, I have two grips on my bat. I'll have to show you that. They are, there is another one down there. Uh, so I've just got a basic sort of chevron grip underneath. Um, I like that because I just like the thickness of the handle. Anyway, team, that's what's in my kit bag. What's in yours? Hello team, Chris here from Sirius. I've just overheard Rich talking about his kit and I've got to be honest, I've got a few worries. Having looked at it, having heard about it and having seen the longevity that some of these bits of kit have got him through, I think it might be time for an upgrade. I'm going to go and grab Rich and take him to the shop. I'm in particular thinking about his pads, his cricket helmet, and his bag. But let's grab him, let's take him in the shop, let's see what we can help him out with. Let's go.